Hey, it's Kate and today I just really wanted to do some eyeshadow and I thought, you know what? I haven't actually filmed just like a basic get ready with me in what feels like forever. I actually don't think I filmed just me doing my makeup in months. Today is actually Father's Day. I came home just for this weekend. I'm back in Preston again after this. But this is the dress we're wearing. Let me grab it for you. It is beautiful. I actually have this in blue as well, but we're gonna wear this one today. It has these really pretty orangey yellow roses and flowers on. Warm, orangey, yellowy kind of vibes on the eyes. So I think we're gonna start with the eyes. I'm gonna start with the brows and I'm gonna stick them up with my got to be glued brow gel. Your face born this way concealer. So we're going to prime the eyes with this. Carving out under the brows. I haven't like carved out my brows in so long because I haven't worn like eyeshadow in ages. Like go to if I'm getting glam now is either just a bit of bronzer in the crease or like a little liner. Finally cleaned all my brushes. I used the ISO clean cleaner and I cleaned them in 60 seconds because they were all dirty. Nude 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 beauty bear palette and also my James Charles Morphe palette. Yep still going strong. And we're just going to I'm gonna try and do a warm orangey brown P. Louise 198 brush in the shade O James from the Morphe palette. Quite an orangey warm shade. I'm gonna place that in my crease. Applying this in circular motions, you can see I'm holding my brush quite low down so I'm not applying pressure to the eye, swirling over where I'm putting that, making sure to place the colour into the crease and then blend outwards. And I'm gonna pull this out into more of a winged out shape. As I'm blending, I'm I'm going back into the colour to pick up more to get that intensity of colour. P. Louise 120 brush. I'm going to take the shade Tune, which is the yellowy beigey shade, and I'm going to run that along the edges of the first shade. I might actually end up just using this James Charles palette because it kind of has the perfect colours. P. Louise 118 brush. I'm going to take the shade 10% off and apply that in my crease and in my outer corner. We're creating more depth. And then I'm going to take a little bit of Code James, blend those two colours together. P. Louise 112 brush. I'm going to take No Beans just in the outer part of my lid in the very edge of my crease. If I was wearing this more at night time, I would potentially go in with like blacks and things. I'm gonna take a mixture of first prize and success from the Beauty Bay palette. And that's quite a yellow gold with more of a muted gold. Put this on my lid. And I'm gonna take some of Half Bake from my Naked palette. This is so old. It is literally my favorite kind of like gold shade. And I'm gonna put that over the top. And then a little bit of this liquid on a fluffy brush. Hardly picking up any. And I'm just gonna tap that. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and then I'll be back do the base. Okay, so both eyes now match. I think they are beautiful and I really miss kind of having some eyeshadow on. So I'm gonna take Elf Power Grip Primer. I've been using it quite a lot. I'm just gonna put that all over. Then I am gonna go for a bit more foundation rather than skin tint. I know, who is she? What have you done with Kate? Collection Hydra Serum Foundation in the shade for extra fair, because we've got zero fake tan on. We've just been living the skin tint life. But this foundation is really nice. You guys know I love this one because it is still quite soft. It's not too full coverage, but it, it is full coverage. We're gonna take the Made by Mitchell bronze uh, in the shade cream color. This is my go-to. I actually left my other ones up at uni because I knew that I had this here and I like it. There is also another part of me that really wants to do a red lip for something soon because I haven't worn a red lip, I think, since Christmas. I'm actually going to take a little bit of my Collection Cream Bronzer. This is quite a yellowy shade, but I feel like it's going to add to the look. That I can see a line in the camera. That I can't see in person. So. I'm actually going to be taking an orange blush. This is made by Mitchell's Nancy. For under the eyes, I'm going to use my Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in there. This is actually shade 5 now. It used to be 1. We're just going to let that set just a tiny bit. Not a huge amount, but I just like to let it set a teeny tiny bit collection lasting perfection translucent powder to set the under eyes then made by mitchell blush bronze pressed in the shade cheeky i love this shade what i really need now i remember in my birthday get ready with me back last year i was saying how i wanted an orange blush and then my flatmate saw that video and so 
for Christmas. Got me that Nancy shade that I used earlier, the liquid blush, and I love it. And I use it like quite a lot because I love the kind of orangey base it gives before I put other products on top. But now I need a orange like powder blush so that because i always apply powder blush over my cream blush intensify colors so now i need like an orange blush so that when i want to do an orange look like i actually have that revolution so highlighter i'm gonna take the lightest shade recently because i've been applying more light makeup and like no foundation and things i've been using a less glittery highlight and i've been using my finger to apply it and i really love the finish that that gives it's like a lip from within but for a look like this i want full blinding highlight so i'm gonna take 90s nude it is the most orangey one in this palette i love the shade in here peachy friday it's a shimmery blush i love it for like when I'm wearing loads of makeup as a blush. And I really want that I have the shade Rose in the single pan. And I can't get this Peachy Friday in a single pan. It doesn't exist. But I need it to exist. Because I love it so much. And I really just want to have it. So like, you know, if I'm going away, I don't have to bring my whole palette. I can just bring that. I'm gonna go into my James Charles palette and take that shade that was so James. Brush that on the high points of this blush just to add a tiny bit of that orange into my blush. So the last thing to do is gonna be lips and then finish off the eye, the lashes and the lower lashes. This is MAC Boldly Bare MAC Velvet Teddy and P. Louise, which is quite And then we just got setting spray left. So I'm gonna be mixing the mattifying one from Collection. I use this because I find it keeps my makeup in place all day. And then the e.l.f. Power Grip, which is one of those bio, what do you call it? Bio phase. It's so fine. And that is the makeup all complete. Now I need to do my hair and iron my dress. I'm gonna come back when I'm fully ready to show you the final look. And this is the finished look. I've just taken my hair down and it's all curly. And I've put in my jewelry on, my Christopher necklace, these white flower earrings from Bali, which I actually really love because of the little flowers on the dress. Here it is. And I've just put on this black cardigan, mainly because I don't know what's going on. When I tried this on, it fitted the top fine, but now we're having an issue with it. And so I'm just gonna cover it up with the cardigan. I'll fix it for next time, but also because it's a little bit colder. This is the finished look. I'll see you next time. Bye.